Hi, I'm David Stein of Money for the Rest of Us. And in this video, I describe how quantitative trading works and should you consider some of the new quantitative trading strategies that are out there, the services that are based on artificial intelligence. More than 70% of trades in the US are quants. They're bots. They're algorithms, and there's been a number of new services targeting individual investors to, that they can use to help screen stocks, to select stocks based on these quantitative trading programs. Should that be something you consider? How do they even work? Well, when you look at a quantitative model, there are a number of parts. The first part is what's known as the alpha engine. This is the part that is using perhaps artificial intelligence. It's a model that is really what's known as supervised learning, where the model is fed different factors, let's say value, quality, earnings growth, and then the model selects or predicts which stocks are going to do the best based on those factors. And so they'll screen, like Quantumize is an example of a quant service available to individuals. They screen over 30,000 stocks around the world daily and rank them and provide signals as to which particular stocks they believe will do the best. But that's just the alpha model. Most quant models also have a risk model, something that will limit how much exposure there is to a given factor. They'll also have a transaction cost model. It's one thing to be able to know your model has identified a particular stock that appears to be attractive, that appears is going to do better than other stocks, so it has a strong signal. But then you actually have to buy the stock, you have to implement it. And there's cost to doing that. There's the commissions, but there's also the market impact. If it's a smaller company stock, if the trader is trying to buy it, they could push up the price. And so a big component of these quant models is the transaction cost model. And then there's the portfolio construction model. I've used quantitative services in the past. One that I've used is I know first, and it was great. It would give me signals, which stocks that believed would do the best over the next three month window or six month window. But then I figure out, well, how much do I put into each stock? And I equal weighted and I constructed a portfolio, but a true quant model needs to know how is the portfolio going to be constructed? Is it going to be equal weighted? Is it going to weight those stocks with the strongest signal? And if you're using a quantitative service like Quantumize, there's hundreds and hundreds of stocks. Which do you choose and how much do you put in each particular holding? And finally, a quant model will have an execution, will actually implement it on an automated basis. Now, that's not something we can do as individuals, but it's important when we look at the different services out there to recognize most of them just have an alpha model. They don't provide assistance with potential transaction cost, with risk, with figuring out the portfolio construction. How should it be invested? And they certainly don't help with the execution. You have to execute the trades on your own as the individual. So it's just one tiny slice. And while it might be great alpha in terms of the signal, you can fall short on the implementation. And that's what I found when I did I Know First. I set up eight different portfolios of 10 stocks each, and I implemented them using Motif as the trading platform. And I held them for three months because that was the, the, the time of the signal was the, the strongest signal over the, the subsequent three month period. And you know what? I underperformed the S&P 500 significantly. And so that caused me to question, realize, well, it's not enough just to have a strong signal. You actually have to implement the trades. The same with Quantumize. You actually have to implement it and figure out, here's the signal. How am I going to implement that? Now, there is some artificial intelligence investment vehicles out there. There's a firm called Equibot. They have two mutual funds that make selections, stock selections, based on artificial intelligence. In that case, because it's a mutual fund, they have a domestic mutual fund called the AI Powered Equity ETF. So it's not even a mutual fund, it's an exchange traded fund. And they have the AI Powered International Equity ETF. But they have to have all the components. They have to have the alpha engine, the risk engine, 
the transaction cost engine, portfolio construction, and execution. And there you can see how the performance will be over time. Now these are relatively new ETFs. They've only been operating for about a year or more. And so it's still early to see how it works out, but it would be a great experiment to see, to use artificial intelligence in your portfolio, but recognizing it has to have all the components of a model in order for it to work. It just can't have an alpha engine, which is what you see with many of the new AI investment services geared toward individuals. Hey, you have any question on this video or something else regarding investing or the economy? Leave that below in the comments and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.